Hi, I'm Maggie. I work in the Adult Services Department at the Fairfield County District Library. I've got recommendations today for our fans of Bram Stoker's Dracula. The first one is The Route of Ice and Salt by Jose Luis Zarate. This book tells the story of the trip of the Demeter, which in Dracula we only see the leaving and the arriving in England. So what happened in between? We find out here and it's just a beautiful psychological twisty story. The second book is A Dowry of Blood by S.T. Gibson. It also tells a little bit of the Dracula story that was left out. This is all about Dracula's brides and it's told by the first bride of Dracula and it's another like really great exploration of the part of the story that was left out and I think everybody who is Dracula fan definitely needs to read these. Hi I'm Laura I work at the main library and I'm here to talk to you today about the book by Jenny Lawson called Broken in the Best Possible Way. She is the author of Furiously Happy and Let's Pretend This Never Happened. She also has a website called The Blog S. If you don't know who she is she is one of the funniest people on the planet. I gotta say though, this book has heavier material than some of her previous ones in that she looks with unflinching honesty at treatment for her severe anxiety and depression and also treatment for her debilitating autoimmune disorders. But through it all, she's able to laugh about everything and especially herself. She writes about buying condoms to use as rain boots for her little dog. Six times she has managed to lose her shoes while they are on her feet in public and talks about lots of awkward moments. Uh, you just can't help rooting for her. She's just very funny. And this is her doing exactly what she does best, and that is mixing serious content with the incredibly funny. I recommend this book wholeheartedly. Please check it out here at the library. Hi, I'm Allison Moore, and today I have a nonfiction summer reading pick for you. Rust, a memoir of steel and grit, by Elise Collette Goldbach is the thoughtful, engaging, and true story of the author's time spent working in a steel mill in Northern Ohio. I would recommend this book for fans of Educated by Tara Westover or Hillbilly Elegy by J.D. Vance. It touches on themes like the impact of the closing of American factories on Ohio's workforce and economy, um, the dy dynamics of modern labor unions, also, being a woman working in a male-dominated physical labor field, and even the impact that long rotating shift work has on mental and physical health. But more than anything, it's really Goldbach's personal experience doing dangerous, dirty, difficult work and the virtue and misery she experienced while doing it. The second book I'm, I'm recommending is called The Big House. No, it's not about a football stadium. It's about a house on Cape Cod. The reason I read this, it was recommended be, to me because in August, I am going to Boston to visit my granddaughter. And someone said, oh, you've got to read a book concerning Cape Cod. This is a nonfiction. It's a memoir of a 100 year old house, the first one built on Cape Cod. It reads like a novel, reads like a story, so it's not just a bunch of facts but uh, it's by George Howe Colt, and he spent 40 different summers, every summer, on the, in this Cape Cod house. It's just really interesting and sort of sad at the end, but, um, but it just traces uh, what happens to this big, beautiful house on Cape, on Cape Cod. So I really recommend it, and I'm anxious to go to Boston, and maybe I'll even get to see this house. So this is another one I recommend. Thanks. Hi, my name is Emma, and I'm here to give you my top three manga suggestions of the month. Number one, Hell's Paradise, Jigoku Raku by Yuji Kaku. The ninja Gabimaru is betrayed by his ninja clan and is sentenced to death. But with each execution, he does not die due to his superhuman strength. So the shogunate gives him an option, death, or go on a fool's errand to an island where no one returns to retrieve the elixir of life. Fans of Demon Slayer will thoroughly enjoy this series. Number two. Komi Can't Communicate by Tomohito Oda. Komi has it all. Beauty, grace, popularity, but she has one big problem, a communication disorder. 
She's on the quest to befriend 100 people, but her disorder is a huge hindrance to her. So with the help of her classmate, Tanano, she's on her way to befriending 100 people. And number three, Erase by Kei Sanbei. Satoru Fujinuma has an ability that allows him to go back in time a few moments before a life-threatening event happens so he can stop it. During one of his time travels, he is sent back 18 years into the past to when he was in grade school. Satoru takes his chance to try and save three of his classmates that were kidnapped and murdered. Any fan of thrillers will like this series. Thank you.